I'm Gareth Twamley. I'm a competitive stone skimmer. I recently entered the All England Stone Skimming Championships and I won. I also broke the record. So I got into stone skimming two years ago after I saw an episode of Coast on BBC which featured stone skimming on Eastdale Island in Scotland. I never knew stone skimming was a thing, but it is. So I entered and ever since I've been winning medals. As a stone skimmer, I have a personal best of 92 meters. I am chasing down a world record of 107. I've got a way to go, but I aspire to beat that in the future. Next month, I'm entering the World Stone Skimming Championships on the island of Easdale in Scotland. Hopefully I can add the world title to the English title I won recently. In order to skim a stone successfully, it's not just a case of throwing it. There are four things that need to come together. You need to get the right angle into the water. You need to get the right angle on the stone so it doesn't enter the water or bounce the wrong way. You need a lot of spin to keep it stable in the air and you also need a lot of power so it travels all that way. Combine those four things, you'll throw over 80 meters like me. So I practiced down at Blackweir. I've been going there since I was a little kid. I must have skimmed a million stones into that river. There's about 86 tons of stone in there, all from me. Um, I'll be coming down here throwing stones in that river till the day I die. One day, I'll have my ashes spread here as well. Outside of stone skimming, I work as a cycle courier, keep myself fit that way, and I also work as an actor. Um, combining the two things helps me pay the bills. Uh, it's always best to get a perfectly flat stone, three to four inches across, maybe with a little notch on it that you can put your finger on. I get my stones from the riverbed, I go up and down on my bike and I fill up a bag, I throw them back in the river, so I'm not upsetting any ecosystems or anything like that.